while we're all grateful to the powers that be at Epic Games when they get rid of Fortnite cheaters, we'll admit that there are times when people get banned and we quite aren't sure why. When this happens, it's worth checking out how the gamers react. If this is your first time visiting us, then make sure you like this video, subscribe to The Gamer, and ring that bell to become a member of our notification squad so you never miss a video. Goompy gets grumpy. Everyone loves Fortnite and no one loves cheaters. This is as true a statement as any you'll ever hear about video games. While we say everyone, although we're aware there are people who prefer PUBG. Anyway, whenever the bosses behind Fortnite go about banning someone, there's usually rejoicing from gamers who play fairly. This is why we feel genuinely sad and sorry for this next gamer. He's called Goompy, and he was a bit of a newbie when it came to Fortnite Battle Royale. He was an experienced gamer, well, we'd hope he was, otherwise he wouldn't have had his very own YouTube channel dedicated to video games. Hey, here's a thought. What if people who uploaded their gaming footage weren't superstar gamers? What if they were all just a bit, you know, trash? It's an interesting idea, but we doubt it'd be entertaining or that we'd learn anything. We could all laugh at the noobs though, so there is always that. Anyway, Goopy was starting up his career as a Fortnite Battle Royale player. He and his buddies seemed to be enjoying it. We only say they seemed to be because their commentaries were a bit, well, unexciting. Hey, it's not their fault. We all know people like that. Anyway, they were playing along, getting to grips with things. To be fair to them, they were doing well. They were getting some pretty tasty loot and they were certainly starting to lay waste to their opponents. It seemed like we had some new converts to the church of Fortnite. Just as we were ready to sing with joy at the skills of the new Fortniters, something happened. Something pretty darn bad happened. Goopy was in his second game when a loading screen kicked in and up popped the message everyone who plays Fortnite Battle Royale absolutely dreads reading. You have been permanently banned due to cheating. Goopy's response, which sounds like a cross between a why and what? Sort of like, why? Sums up the situation perfectly. There's a whole lot of bewilderment and brain puzzling going on to work out a reason. However, to be fair, we're pretty sure it isn't for the reason Goopy put on YouTube. We certainly don't think it was because apparently he was too good. They'll be gone. There are certain eras which have proven themselves to be absolutely crucial when it comes to video gaming. However, we might well argue the most important era of video games is the 1980s. Why? Well, that's the decade where almost everything started. So many of the genres of games we enjoy come from then. Also, rather than going to an arcade to play games, the 80s was the decade where people could do it at home thanks to the console revolution. However, while things have changed immeasurably since then, we really don't quite feel ready for shoulder pads to make a comeback, thank you very much, but some things have stayed the same. One of those things is that Take On Me by Norwegian pop legends AHA is still an absolute belter of a tune. That's a jam. It's so good, one gamer decided to record his Fortnite exploits and gave them Take On Me as the soundtrack. It's really good. Like, really, really good. You see, the gamer in question is Mick Creamy, and we're intensely grateful he did because he's quite clearly having a blast. Actually, we wonder if it was Mick Creamy. We aren't sure if their taste in music runs to classic 80s pop hits, but we hope it would. They pretty much deny it though. Running around, jumping around, and shooting down all comers, the music makes it even more fun. Although we aren't sure exactly why Mick Creamy decided to intersperse clips of a large, laughing mustache man. This makes it even weirder, but in our humble opinions, even better. Let's face it, this is a pretty crazy thing in the first place. So if things are crazy, then there's nothing wrong with adding to the insanity. Things progress in pretty much the same direction until something happens which ruins the fun. Yes, they get banned for cheating. Like, seriously, ouch. Just as we were enjoying it too. We hope that McCreamy got unbanned after they made this. We also hope the chap with the mustache has made himself known to people. He does seem like a pretty cool kind of guy. What did he do? It's one thing to get a first person perspective of someone getting banned and it's a good thing. 
we can see how they got banned, when they got banned, and there's usually a definite schadenfreude in hearing their long, drawn-out expressions of despair and frustration were there with them. And while we might not necessarily empathize with them, we can at least share everything in real time. However, there's also times when we see someone being banned from someone else's perspective. Anyway, YouTuber TB Gaming was playing with friends recording gameplay for his channel. It appears one of his friends, Soto1010, is pretty young, but they all seem to be playing fair and having fun. In fact, the footage, which was captured and put online, is pretty safe, normal. Everyday Fortnite Battle Royale. The players are wending their way across the map, chatting, sharing loot, and exploring the world of Fortnite. It's all peachy. This could literally be a game happening anywhere in the world right now. However, something happens from out of nowhere. The something in question is, of course, the dreaded ban hammer striking down on poor young Soto 1010. One minute, he's there, and the next, he gets zapped and he isn't. His friend asks him if he got banned, and among lots of shouting, swearing, and screaming, one question rings out. Soto1010 asking in complete shock and disbelief, what did I do? What did I do? We wish we could tell him, but we can't. This kid picked up a gun which fell and that was enough for him to be booted from the game. We aren't entirely sure that this is fair on the kid. We really feel bad for him. Mason Crumbles. Video gaming isn't just about consoles or PCs these days. No, there are some pretty awesome games you can play on your phone. Heck, the classic 3D generation of Grand Theft Auto games are there to take with you wherever you go if you want to. It's not just about Snake anymore. It isn't just in the actual playing of games that we find mobile phones have added a new dimension to gaming though. No, there are times when people use their phone to get their message out to the big wide world about injustices they've suffered while playing games. In this case, it's Fortnite Battle Royale. It would be one thing to record your rant about being banned for something using the regular video capture on your phone and then post it up. However, YouTuber It's Mason McAvoy didn't just do it in the conventional way, he used Snapchat. Instead of just filming himself, Mason decided to go totally on trend and use one of the app's filters. He used the filters which made his mouth look massive. We aren't entirely sure why he did this. However, it got him noticed. Hmm, maybe that's why he did it. Either way, he was not a happy boy, and for once, we can't really blame him for feeling angry. You see, it turned out Mason was accused of teaming up with his enemies. This is a bannable offense in Fortnite. It might seem harsh to ban someone over the rule, but if it prevents people from teaming up in solo, we're all for it. It's Mason McAvoy saw fit to break the rule and he was hit with a five day ban. And yes, he Snapchatted it. This young kid couldn't deal with being banned from the game. Using a voice changer to make his voice sound really high pitched and squeaky, Mason goes on a verbal rampage. All he wanted to do was play Fortnite, and he can't. The Swing of Doom. Fortnite Battle Royale is a game which has been redesigned and retweaked by the powers that be at Epic Games pretty much since it came out back in 2017. We don't really have a problem with that because it helps keep the game fresh. Also, it's good to see a developer take a lot of care and pay a lot of attention to a game after it's been released rather than reluctantly fix the glitches as soon as it's out there for people to play. It's one of the many reasons why we love Fortnite so much. Now, there was one place in the game which became notorious for getting players in trouble. It wasn't an area where you were liable to attack on all sides, nor was in somewhere you could get trapped while on the hunt for loot. No, it was a place where going there would often get you banned just for going there. It was the now infamous Tire Swing. The place looked like a big pile of glitches. If you jumped onto it, then you'd end up spinning around, flying across the map, and looking like a pretty big mess. Unfortunately, in the eyes of the people who had to check for those sort of things, it kind of looked like you were deliberately glitching and using a cheat to teleport you to another area. So jumping on the tire swing usually ended up with a ban for playing unfairly, even though it was an honest mistake. Anyway, there was a YouTuber called Premises who was enjoying a game with his buddy RTB Rob. They found the play area, which meant they found the tire swing. 
Needless to say, they found the way the game animated the swing was absolutely hilarious. So they spent a lot of time on there, just goofing around and making each other laugh. It turned out this was actually a very, very bad idea. You see, even though they didn't use the swing to fly across the map, even though they stayed in the game's play area where they originally were, the anti-cheater group at Epic Games didn't see it this way. No, they saw people going to an area where they knew there was a problem. This meant one thing and one thing only. At the court of Fortnite, they were guilty of cheating and they were sentenced to a ban. And that's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Have you ever been banned from Fortnite Battle Royale? How did you cope? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer.